Hi, I'm your anchor Sergio, and this is your anchor Ethan, and welcome to another episode of this week's uh, Wolf Watch News. And here's Marola with this week's birthdays. Good morning, Grey Wolves. Happy Monday. We survived, or I should say you guys survived, um, the cast practice testing last week. Congratulations. Uh, so, this week's birthdays. Let's start with our 18-year-olds. We have Hilary Rodriguez. Her birthday is on the 4th. 17-year-olds, we have Jorge Zapeda. His birthday is March 1st. 16-year-olds, Ayani Henderson on the 1st, along with Carmen Ibarra on the 1st, Jose Lara on the 2nd, and Gustavo Rincon on the 5th. And last but not least, our 15-year-olds, we have Alyssa Kuhn on the 5th. Happy birthday, Grey Wolves. Have a great week. Thank you, Marola, for this week's birthdays. And now we go to Jerry and Reyna with this week's school news. Thank you, anchors, for that introduction. Welcome back, Smithsonian's, to another segment of Student News. We have a few things this week. This Saturday, there will be ninth grade orientation at 9.30 a.m. If you know anyone who is taking computer classes or is interested in taking computer classes, our school offers computer classes every Saturday at 9.30 a.m. If your parents are interested in taking yoga classes, there are classes starting this Monday, or today, February 29th. Yoga, 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 right? Because yoga is good for you. Also, students, don't forget, mandatory tutoring starts tomorrow, Tuesday, March the 1st. That's it for today. See you all next week. Back to you, anchors. So did you hear about teacher's party? What party? I don't know, but I heard that, that, that damn Danu kid was there. Was he back at it again with his white bands? I guess so. I think he got beat up though for the white bands. That <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that <laughs> Stop making that I'm not thing. doing anything. Stop. What is Renee even doing? I swear. Pew. Oh, like, I don't think she, she takes her job seriously. Is she like with burrito? Or go on, like, make up your mind, girl, come on. Choose one. Thank you, Jerry and Rainer, for this week's school news. And now to Bianca and Mireya with a new segment they like to call Foodimentary. Hi, guys, I'm Mireya. And I'm Bianca. And this is our new segment called Foodimentary. During this week, <laughs> who deleted? <laughs> who deleted the script? I can't do it. Hi guys, I'm Mireya and I'm Bianca and this is our new segment called Food Mentary. During this time we're going to talk about everyday food days. So in March 4th it is the National Bound Cake Day and in March 3rd is the National Cold Cuts Day. Hope you guys get the gist. So February 29th is National Frog Leg Day. For those who've never tried frog <laughs> frog legs, it's often said that frogs taste like chicken because of their mild flavor, with textures most similar to chicken wings. These taste textures are approximately between chicken and fish. There is a five-star Middle Eastern restaurant called the Corusel Cur Restaurant, and it serves the best fried frog legs in Hollywood. <laughs> and the frog legs are mainly known in the cultures of French, French and the Chinese cuisine. And back to you, anchors. Thank you, Mireya and Bianca, for that new segment, Food Mentory. And now to Gustavo and Min with Tech and Politico. Hi, I'm Min. I'm Gustavo. And today in Politico, it's going to be a bit different because I won't be talking about politics, but I want to talk about the NHS Environmental Committee. So as everybody noticed, um, we have a recycling bin for bottles and with the cans and the bottles we've collected, we have uh, made a profit of $80. And with that money, we will be giving it back to the students of Smith Tech. So it will go through like um, a raffle for a gift card, a raffle for a scholarship, or it will go back to the students of Smith Tech. We'll try to like um, make a little 
fun party, I guess. So please respect our recycling, you know, um, bins and put the bottles and cans in the right bins so we can have more nice things for you guys. Alright, so so today, you know, I normally do tech, check out this new snazzy invisible shirt. Um, so we're doing the whole old wise tale of Wi-Fi causing problems or even some people believe Wi-Fi can cause cancer. Well, studies have shown that is not the case. I mean, human bodies do contain systems that rely on electrical signals and um, the signal that can harm our human body is energetic radiation, which does come from Wi-Fi, but only stuff like x-rays and you know all that stuff can give us cancer, not Wi-Fi. So Wi-Fi may is in the danger category, but it's with drinking coffee and drinking out of styrofoam cups, so everyone should be fine. So, yeah, back to you, anchors. Thank you, Gustavo and Min, for this week's second Politico. And now to end the school news. Bye.